Hello and welcome to our reviews. Today we'll be re-reviewing the Marvel Universe Galactus. So yes, I reviewed this the first time in my first anniversary special where I reviewed all the Galactus things. And that was like a long time ago. So I'm going to review it again with a camera that actually looks decent. And uh, yeah, he's uh, massive. Very, very massive. Hopefully I'll never have to review anything this tall again because it's very difficult to get everywhere on camera and everything. Anyway, let's move on to articulation, sculpt, paint, details, all those sorts of things. All right, here we go. Here we have Galactus. Very massive figure. Uh, just to compare him really quick to an average size Marvel Universe figure. As you can see, here is the mighty Marvel Universe Silver Surfer, and you can see that he is very small compared to Galactus. This is the figure that Galactus comes with. So, uh, hello, Silver Surfer. I will be reviewing him at a later time. So, uh, yeah, and whenever I have that, you'll have a link to it right here next to Silver Surfer. So, uh, yeah, off with you. Anyway, Galactus up here has some clear, transparent blue bits in his helmet, which is where the lights come in. They also come out of his eyes. He's got his big horns up here. Zoom in on the face in a minute, but he's got lots of little gears and things around there, as well as a bit of a human face there and some blackening around the eye area. Uh, down here at the chest, he has his big sort of chest piece here. This bit is rubbery sort of material and can be removed. Uh, this bit right here houses the button that makes him talk. Uh, it's mostly blue and a purplish sort of color. There is no real paint shading on this figure to speak of. So yeah, he's got his big G here in his chest. He's got some lines sculpted in in various spots like here and on the arms here. Uh, for the most part, just uh, blue smoothness though. Down around the torso, he's got some blue lines here as well as some abdominal muscles sculpted in. He's got some fancy little belt buckle like things here. Lifting him up, you can see his hands which are uh, black and purplish sort of colored. I also have little lines sculpted into the fingers. You can see his skirt bit, which has little lines on it. And by little, I mean fairly large. And they're blue, and they go in a sort of pattern. And then down here around the feet, he has his large staircase sort of pattern on his boots that he always seems to have. And that is pretty much it. If we turn him around real quick, you can see the big transparent blue bit on the back of his head which is a bit unusual and one feature about this figure that confuses me and that I don't really know if I like or not, even after all this time. Uh, back here is where you can unhook the rubber bit to get to battery packs and stuff right there. Uh, there's his speaker hole right there. And then for the most part, he just looks the same as he does on the front, except on the back. All right, zooming in on the face real quick, you can see he has sort of a humanish face, which is sculpted fairly nicely. And he's got little gears and uh, odd slots and things around his helmet here. Some etchings on the helmet. Uh, one thing, of course, that uh, Galactus has special about his eyes is that he is supposed to have square pupils. And unfortunately, he does not seem to have those, probably because of the lighting up and whatnot. But that's something that I always like to see, and unfortunately do not see it right now. Alright, so Galactus has an orange LED in his head, which makes uh, all these bits light up to a varying degrees. Uh, the eyes are going to be pretty obvious, the rest of it not so much. I'll also turn it around because it makes the back of his head light up. And he says lots of phrases. So speaks Galactus. Who dares defy Galactus? I am the devourer of worlds. Tremble at the might of the power cosmic. To me, my herald, you serve me now. Who is so ignorant as to confront Galactus? Can't have a good Galactus without eye hunger. Know me, mortal. Know me and no fear. So speaks Galactus. Who dares defy Galactus? I am the devourer of worlds. I think that's all of them. That sounds like all of them. So, uh, yeah, you can see the lights there on the front of his head. Uh, let's turn him around real quick so you can see them on the back. So, oh, yeah, you can see the lights all up in there. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of that. Anyway, with all of his lights and features and stuff out of the way, let's move on to the articulation. 
All right, looking at Galactus's articulation, it is pretty much on par with your Marvel Universe figures. Head will go up and down, side to side, all the way around. He has ball-jointed shoulders going in and out, forward and back. Bicep cut here, double-jointed elbows. He has a cut here at the top of the gauntlet, and a ball joint here in the wrist, which will rotate around a bit. Uh, he has a waist cut. Down here at the hips, he does have ball jointed hips, but it's very difficult to get them to move because of the skirt. He has double jointed knees, which are very stiff. He has a cut here at the top of the boot, and a hinge here at the foot, which is also very stiff. So yeah, very stiff leg joints in order to make him stand up a bit easier, and make it difficult for me to stand him back up because I've bent one of his feet. But anyway, very nice articulation. So yeah, the only accessory he comes with is the Silver Surfer, who we have already looked at. Let's look at his packaging. Alright, as for Galactus's packaging, he does come in this very large box with some really nice artwork up. Galactus here on the front, Galactus right there, Marvel Universe logo. Uh, this is a flap if you lift it up. It has the big window, which has Galactus and Silver Surfer in it, as well as some little pieces of paper and things. There's a little thing right there that says you can try it, which you could if it was still in there. And on the back you can see the Galactus figure surrounded by other figures. They do depict his lights on here as blue instead of orange, which would have been much more logical to give him blue lights, because um, it would match the transparency that they used, but I don't know, whatever reason they gave him orange lights. And then he is surrounded by huge amounts of other Marvel Universe figures, as well as some other of the bigger figures, but not nearly as big as him. So, yeah, there is uh, the packaging here. With some phrases, things like that. So, uh, yeah. Galactus. Alright, that wraps it up for Galactus. Until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe and all those sorts of things if you enjoyed my video. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content, and VR Reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.